For a century, the Panama Canal has been a driving force in global trade. It remains the optimal route for transporting goods from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific. A potential shift is on the horizon. Mexico is on the verge of unveiling a groundbreaking initiative known as the Interoceanic Corridor of the Isthmus of Tehuantepec. While the name may be a bit cumbersome, what exactly is this project, and could it potentially supersede the Panama Canal? The Panama Canal, along with the Suez Canal, stands out as one of the most renowned artificial waterways globally, carving through the Isthmus of Panama, an often less heard term denoting a narrow strip connecting two larger land masses. The Isthmus of Panama serves as the link between North and South America, bordered by the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, it's measuring 65 kilometers in width. The Panama Canal is relatively short compared to counterparts like the nearly three times longer Suez Canal and the astonishingly more than 20 times lengthier Grand Canal in China. However, its significance surpasses its size before its completion in 1914. The journey for cargo ships crossing from one side of the Americas to the other was arduous. Ships from Europe, laden with goods destined for California, had to navigate through the stormy and treacherous Strait of Magellan in Chile, making the journey lengthy and perilous. In response, the United States, in 1902, proposed a solution of the construction of a shipping canal in Central America. The vision was to create a canal allowing ships to traverse in less than a day, reducing the Atlantic to Pacific journey by approximately 12,000 kilometers. Building the canal posed immense challenges. Laborers faced scorching temperatures exceeding 40 degrees Celsius, and over 200 million cubic meters of earth had to be cleared using dynamite, drills, and steam-powered shovels. The human cost was significant, with almost 6,000 lives lost to heat stroke, rock slides, and tropical diseases. Engineering hurdles were also formidable, with nearly 30 meters of elevation difference between the highest and lowest points of the proposed canal. This necessitated the incorporation of locks and gates to manage water elevation, allowing ships to ascend to the 30-meter peak before descending. The construction came with a hefty price tag, totaling $375 million for the United States, equivalent to around $12 billion today. In 2018, President Lopez Obrador initiated plans to revamp Mexico's former railway line and establish a new corridor linking the Atlantic and Pacific a contemporary rival to the nearby Panama Canal. The ambitious project was officially announced a few months later, to outlining the development of three primary rail lines. Line Z, Line Fe, and Line K. If anyone has insights into the meanings behind these letters, please share in the comments, as our team has been unable to unravel the mystery. Returning to the side, the work commenced in June 2020, involving the clearing of vegetation, removal of old tracks, and installation of new ones. The entire railway, incorporating those three main lines, is anticipated to span over 1,000 kilometers. The Mexican government also plans to construct a series of industrial parks along the railway. President Lopez Obrador demonstrated his commitment in 2023 by deploying the army to seize a stretch of old railway officially owned by a private company. While offering compensation later, he ensured the railway was securely in the government's hands, avoiding potential project setbacks due to difficulties in negotiations with a stubborn private entity. Some clashes with protesters, including several groups from indigenous communities in Oaxaca, have occurred due to environmental concerns, with instances of imprisonment and forced relocations. Despite the controversies, many in the region believe that the project's positives will outweigh the negatives. Some experts anticipate that the CI will generate half a million jobs for locals and attract $50 billion of international investment. This economic boom could transform the country, and that's what President Lopez Obrador is counting on. In August 2023, Line Z was officially completed. In September, Lopez Obrador himself traveled the entire route on a passenger train, completing the journey in less than nine hours officially faster than traversing the Panama two months later, just a few days before Christmas 2023. The first trains opened their doors to the general public, carrying local passengers from the Atlantic coast to the Pacific. The other two lines are expected to be completed by the end of 2024.